First of all, thank you for staying with us. Oh. How would you feel if your house, if your beautiful house had blank, lonely walls when you first moved in? And then, six months later, there's still nothing changed. You either didn't have time to go shopping, or you didn't know where to do it, right? Or you simply had this insecurity inside of you thinking, which of those 10 pieces of art or decor will fit my wall the best? I'm going to speak lower. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tanya, and we have a solution for that. Lonely Walls is a free mobile application. It's an art aggregator helping you to visualize art and decor on the walls before buying it, thus making purchasing barrier as low as possible and making our customers as happy as possible. With Lonely Walls, you can get fresh ideas and daily decor and uh, fresh crisp, crisp um, ideas for decoration. You can get free pieces of advice from art and design experts, and you can decorate your wall just in one click. Since end of June, we've been in public beta version and testing with our uh, current clients. And right now, we have more than 30 galleries on board that can be translated into 1,000 pieces of art and decor in our catalogs. With our product, we're approaching 10 billion industry, 10 billion US dollars industry, and the art, online art sales are more than 10%, and this sector is very growing fast. Our business model is based on commission from sales. We take 20% of sa every sales made via our app, thus being affiliate marketing partners. Uh, speaking about marketing, we think, and we, we actually we're very pretty sure after San Francisco journey, that our lead generators, our main uh, main helpers in selling art are design studios and um, we're gonna um, we're gonna market our app also via art and decor exhibitions worldwide in our team we have four t members and we're looking for partners and investments so please be a part of success story thank you stand right back there there you go a little further back a little further back so yeah there you go questions that was a great pitch Thank you. Um, you didn't tell us where you were and how many customers you have. Have you launched yet? That kind of thing. Yeah, we ha actually, I mentioned you haven't listened correctly uh, intentively, but the point here is that we have, we were in a public beta version. Public beta since end of June. So we had our test clients that we've been testing our app with, thus collecting the feedback and implementing our first release that's going to be in two, two weeks. So you can see it in the app store in two weeks. So I don't get it. Public beta. Use public beta, right. Use the mic. I don't, uh, you're public beta, right. but you're launching in two weeks. Our first real release where you can actually buy art. Because before that, we, what we were doing, we took the app saying, hey guys, try it on. Do you, do you, how do you feel it? And they said, yeah, that's great. That's actually, we, we've been collecting a uh, lot of feedback. Um, so what do you think, where do you think your biggest market is? Where's, where is the market for this? Which geographic region? Right. Um, I won't. I won't be original, saying that we're aiming at the um, English-speaking market. But the idea actually came from Sweden, where, where I've been living since. When I and actually our target markets are North America, Scandinavian countries, um, UK and Australia. But we are starting from Americas. So the point here is, when I was living in Sweden, I, I found this problem. When people wanted to buy something, they were going to IKEA or to very expensive galleries, and there was a gap. So with our product, we want to actually to match it. Is, so it, is it through the platform that you're selling uh, pieces of art, or is it uh, through the galleries that you were referring to? When are we selling? I mean, the user, the user, when he gets the, the piece of art, who does it see? The gallery or you? He sees ours. In, in, in our case, we, are we guarantee that art that he's received would be proper. So in our case, he or the customer is dealing with us. Though, speaking about logistics, this takes galleries. I'm trying to understand, are you sourcing from local galleries to locals, or it can be from any gallery around the world, as long as they're partners, to anyone that uses your app? Second option? <laughs> First one, I would like to say it's the third time or fourth time, but what we're actually doing, we aggregate art all around the world, and you as a, as a person living in Ukraine, you can buy art from Jamaica. Jamaica. Well, uh, there are some legal issues. Definitely they are. How did you work those legal issues out? Thankfully, thankfully, galleries, uh, they, they're not selling art abroad for the, for the first time, so we're, since we're dealing with them, they take this part of work just like that. So we kind of we bring them new clients who are happy 
and we make them even more happy with our product, helping to choose easily. For example, you living, um, people, people living in the States don't know the art, actually, that's very valuable and good, good priced art that is here. So we're trying to match, to trying to show and inspire. Thank you very much. Good luck.